Okay. I need for you to take me through this evening, okay? Step by step, so we can kind of figure out what happened. All right? I've already talked to Brian, and he's gone. Um, take me through this evening. We had a normal day. We went, we drank. I'm sorry. We did drink. We went, he washed my car for me. Brian came over and helped him install the dishwasher and some of the other appliances. And they started talking about Oh, God, such a stupid thing. They start talking about what, man? We got such a stupid funny. Okay, man, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Uh, you said you start talking about what? They were talking about a birthday party. Okay. My birthday just passed in March, and was it the best event? And they were talking about Jordan's birthday party, and it kind of upset me. Mm -hmm. And when Brian left, Mike and I got in a little argument about it. So, tell me. Okay, then take me from the time that, that, that Brian left. Brian left. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Literally, I, I five, understand five minutes, ten minutes from the time he left, I was in the bathroom. You and him were in the bathroom? No, I was in the bathroom taking my makeup off and getting ready to go to bed. And he continued the argument. And well, then, explain the argument. I mean, what was he arguing about? I mean, what was he saying? That he didn't have money for my birthday and that he owed taxes and he was stressed out. <laughs> so stupid. He was stressed out about taxes that he owed and mortgage and <sighs> stupid. Just a really stupid argument. He left the room and then I heard like what I thought was glass shatter really loud. <laughs> and I had the water running so I it's kind of a Faint. <laughs> I went into the kitchen. I mean, he was on the floor. <laughs> and there was blood. I didn't, I, I didn't notice it. it was a lot of blood. <laughs> and I saw glass on the floor. <laughs> and so I went down next to him. And I, <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? And then I saw a lot of blood. A lot of blood. And I, oh, God, this is not happening. I, <clears throat> sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm okay, really let, upset. Let, let's back up just a little bit, okay? Okay. So, okay. And I, what I'm saying to you is, he was shot at 12.31 a.m. Can we both agree on that? Probably. Yeah, yes, we can agree because okay. it... You didn't call 911 until 12.38. Okay. Seven minutes later. Okay. What did you do in that seven minutes? What did I do in that seven minutes? I leaned over my soon-to-be husband's body. You fucking shot him. That's what you did. You shot him. I did not shoot my fiance. To you shot him. You shot him. This is happening. Yes, this is happening. I did not. You shot, shot him. him. Yes, you did. No. Yes, I you did. did. Not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. This man made all. I need to know what happened in there. I don't know what happened. You know what happened. I don't you know, know what, what happened. I do not know what you happened. You know what happened in there, Olivia. I don't you know. You know what happened in there, Olivia. Olivia, you know what happened in there. Olivia, you know what happened in there. Because you know and I know that this don't make sense. This don't make sense. Then God damn it, tell me the truth. You know what happened in there. This don't add up. It don't add up. I don't know what you're asking me. I don't know. I need for you to be truthful.
truthful with me I, about what happened. I am being truthful. That's how do you exactly know? How do you happens. know from having a bullshit argument to suicide? I don't know. Olivia, you should have a serious problem with that. I have a problem with it. I do have a problem. We're with arguing it. about a goddamn birthday party. You said you were down there doing this first aid morning shit. I didn't say I was doing first aid. Okay, but I did, said did you I, not know that he was still breathing? I think. Did you not know that he was still breathing? Yes, he was still alive. So don't you think that it was kind of fucked up I for seven know. minutes? What do you for seven, do I'm you asking do you. Do I'm asking you. Like that what I'm saying to you is you that it took you seven minutes. It took you seven minutes. I don't know. It took you seven minutes. And you don't think that seven minutes was critical? You don't think that seven minutes was critical? You don't think that yes, seven, sir, I do. Okay. I, don't, I don't know the Could that not have been a mistake? I don't know. Could that have been a mistake? Please don't put that on me. I'm asking you, ma'am. I'm just telling you the facts. This is what I know. What I know is this. He had done. What could his buddy have done? I don't, I don't know. You fucking shot. I don't know. You shot. Him. Yes, you did. You shot. Sir. Look, you know, Olivia, this getting old. I'm ready for you to just tell me what happened in there tonight. What happened? I told you. Just tell me. What I happened? told you what happened, and that is exactly what happened. So this is how it's going to be. There's it's no other way for me to tell you. So when you leave here, and you will leave here tonight, you will. You'll walk out the door and go wherever it is that you're going to go. You will. That's going to happen. And we may never see each other ever again. But one thing that you will not be able to say. No, you listen. One thing that you will not be able to say. You will not be able to say that I have not asked you. Sir, no. You can I got take, to I got to finish what I no, I got to I have to finish whatever you need. I have to finish what I'm gonna say here, please. You will not be able to say that I have not said one thing to you tonight. Why are you let me finish, please? Why are you doing this? Let me finish. Why won't you let me finish? I'm, would you shut up and let me finish? You will not be able to say that I have not asked you one question tonight that has not been a legitimate question. Because I'm going to tell his family everything that I know. That their son was not suicidal. They knew that their son was successful. They knew that their son, they knew that their son had all the reason in the world to live yeah. with or without you. With or without you. That was his house, not yours. You know, he, I mean, right? It was his house. You can ready to move in with We were building. It was his house, right? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so what I'm saying to you is, Olivia, he didn't need you. Did he? Did he need you? We were in love. Did he need you? I don't know how to answer that. I could answer it. He didn't need you. Okay. He didn't. That's your opinion. No, it's not my opinion. It's what I've discovered, Olivia. I talked to his best buddy who was his friend for 15 just, years. Okay, just because somebody makes a lot of money doesn't... That's not what I'm saying to you. What I'm saying to you is you all were not a a, 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 a a couple who had invested together in what he had already achieved. Were you Were you a part of his company? Absolutely not. Okay. Is your name on his mortgage? No. Okay. So what I'm saying is you didn't live there. You might have spent the night. But regardless whether you were in the we picture, were building that house. All I'm suggesting, ma'am, is whether or not you left or whatever, his business was going to continue, correct? Correct. And he was still going to pay his fucking mortgage, right? So you were not a financial partner. You were just a female, right? You right? Know what? I think this, I'm, I'm done. You're done? I, I, You're done? I'm done. I'm not done. Well. I'm not done. Okay. You think you run this? No. Who, I, I mean, who the fuck do you think you are? I don't think I'm. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I think I'm a person who just lost their boyfriend. And, I'm, and I think you're a person whose behavior tonight doesn't add up. That's what I believe. Well, and I'm not going to be the only one. You, these questions is to get to a point where knowing this man, the way that you knew him, Starting from the inappropriateness of my questions to the fucking other end. Was he someone, in your opinion, who would have fucking committed suicide? Yes or no? He was not suicidal. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying to you, Olivia. It's like pulling teeth with you. I'm just saying, well, I'm saying I don't you know. know. I, always, I, mean, I don't know what type of 
the behavior would be, I don't know if people are vocal, I don't know. You're asking me a question that I don't know. All I'm telling you is that he loved life and we loved, loved our life together. He loved and like, I know that he I, loved I know like, he loved like he loved like that much that we with, loved our life together. Within so minutes, tell you. within minutes of him leaving the bathroom, where you all were discussing this fucking birthday party, we he loved life so much from leaving the bathroom where you were discussing this birthday party. He says, "You know what? That's fuck, not what happened." Fuck the fact that I love life. Fuck the fact that I love my girl. And that we're planning a life together. Screw all that. Screw the fact that I got this business where I'm pulling down every now and then 70 grand a week. Screw that. You. you know what? I think I'm going to fucking shoot myself. I don't know the answer for you. <laughs> I know. Well, I don't know the answer. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right. Hey. There comes a point where we as detectives... We get to a point where we say, well, you know, I've done everything in my power to reason with you, and it's on you now. But we're going to take your clothes. Okay. And uh, we're going to test them for gunshot residue. Okay. And this whole thing has been recorded. Okay. And you said that you were not in the room when he shot himself. That's correct. So there should be no gunshot residue on your clothes at all. That's correct. All right. If there is, I'm going to charge you with murder. I just want you to know that right now. When those tests come back, if there's gunshot residue on your hands, and you said throughout this recording that you didn't touch the gun, I asked you those questions for a reason. Okay. And if you do, I'm going to charge you with murder. That's exactly what I'm doing. I want you to know that. I want you to know that I've given you an opportunity to tell me if it went wrong tonight or if anything happened. Hey, shit happens all the time with couples. They get in arguments and fights and all kinds of bullshit and, and it's justifiable homicide. There's all kinds of stuff that happens. It happens every day. It happens every day. I, I worked a case about a week ago where this guy shot his daughter's boyfriend and killed him. You know, it, because the, the boyfriend was, was doing things. It happens every day. But I need for you to know. What I'm going to do, if I your understand. clothes come back with gunshot residue, I understand. or your you hands, my clothes. I'm going to charge you with murder. You can have my clothes. I'm going to do it. I just want you to know that. I understand. I want you to prepare yourself, saying. and I want you to think about that. I understand. I want you to think about that if there's something that you're hiding and that, you're, that you've got deep down inside of you, you can keep it. You can hold on to it, but I need for you to know my intentions. I understand. That's right, because you know what? I may never know the truth. Your clothes could come back with nothing on your hands can come back with nothing on them, and you might move on and marry some other guy and have family and life, and this shit will go far behind you, and and we'll go our own separate ways. But all I'm saying to you, all I'm saying to you is there's two options here. There's two options, and the one option is if I discover, if I discover anything, if I discover anything that substantiates what I believe, I'm going to charge you with murder. I understand. Because I do believe you killed him. I believe that with all my heart. I believe that. I do. Because you have not provided me with one reasonable explanation for your... I'll give you a gallon put on. And I don't apologize for my conduct. I don't. Because I, I, I owe it to, I, I, I owe it to I Michael. Understand. I owe it to Michael. Yes, and I owe it to Michael's family to do my job. Regardless whether you think it's appropriate or not, I don't care. But I owe it to Michael and his family to do my job. And my job is to inquire. That's what we get paid to do, inquire. We don't get paid to sell our ass and bullshit. We get paid to say, okay, based on what we have in front of us, is it a problem? If it's a problem, why is it a problem? I haven't lied to you. I've told you what I got. I've told you what the problem is. I've fucking shown it to you. You got to live with that. You do, not me. You got to live with that. I don't know why you did what you did. I don't know. I don't know why you did it, but you know one thing? I've said some things to you tonight, and I hope to God you think about it tonight. I hope to God you think about it tomorrow. And I don't give a fuck how many people you line up. You can line 50 people up in a row, and every one of them are going to tell you, why the fuck did she do that? They are. You will not have one that will say, well, I would have done that. I understand. 
understand. I would have done that. I would have called a guy too who didn't have no fucking medical history. And then after he didn't pick up the phone, I would have said, okay, I'll just fucking won't call nobody for seven minutes. I won't call nobody for seven minutes and I'll fuck around and do whatever I do. And then seven minutes later, I'll call 911. 